at first I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do. I just wanted, I knew I wanted to do audiovisual installation. I want cool lights. I want um, speakers all around you. But then just digging down and figuring out what I wanted, the story I wanted to tell, how I wanted people to interact with it. Project Silva, as I named it, is a audiovisual installation where I have a multi-channel speaker set up with um, 15 speakers set up in a circle and lights going about. And the idea is to foster a sense of community and performance to people who aren't used to performing music on their own. Like it's an installation for musicians, but also an installation for you could say the lay people, the people who haven't really experienced what it's like to be on stage performing something. Randy's thesis is among the most fun that I've advised since I've been here. Uh, it's a multimedia installation that really takes into account the user experience. The way that users interact with the experience is they go on a website on their phone and they uh, interact with a few interfaces that let them change the music and the ambiance and the instruments that's going on in the space and then it's reflected in the lights around them so they could feel like they're encapsulated in a musical environment. So the way I've designed the space is in two distinct scenes, one called the ocean scene and the other the forest scene. And the ocean scene is primarily uh, a electronic and washy sort of feel where the forest scene is more evocative of um, music from my ethnicity, Dominican Republic. I use like a ton of the things that I've learned in the music program. I took a class called Programming in Max, which is almost a visual programming language that lets you program audio and stuff like that. And that's the whole backbone of the experience without un like being exposed to that program and trying it out in various classes and learning about it this wouldn't be possible at all. My take on it is that it's it's such a beautiful synthesis of the kind of work that we do at Stevens. Students can interpret um, the education and the structures here in different ways and um, this way that Randy's used the different tools he's he's seen in classes and on his own research, I, I can't ask for a more fun, beautiful project. Mm -hmm.